All right, I was browsing around my request section yesterday, and I saw a lot of you gave this one a thumbs up. This distribution is based on Mandriva. I'm looking at Magia 3 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. first boot the Magia disk, you're given the option to install, and then you are presented with this screen. Now this installer is a little bit different than a lot of other installers that I've seen out there because this gives you a number of options. So let's go through the install process here. I'm going to select American English, accept the license agreement, US keyboard, erase and use the entire disk, then of course it'll format the hard drives. Okay, we don't have any additional installation media, so we can click Next. And then it gives you an option. If you really want totally free software, you can uncheck non-free release. But actually, I want the non-free software. At this point, you will choose which desktop you want. KDE is already pre-selected. You can also get GNOME as well if you like that. But I think I'd much rather go with something custom. Okay, and then this is where Magia really shines, because now you can tailor this distribution to your needs. For instance, uh, if you need an Office Suite installed, you can select it, or not. Maybe you might want to have games, an internet station. I think we'd want to have internet tools, multimedia tools. Okay, you can have it select tools for uh, different protocols on the network, including Secure Shell. I'm not going to be doing that in a virtual machine but it's available. Uh, configuration tools, console tools, development tools, C and C++ if you're a programmer, and then of course documentation. Okay, and then you have other tools with WebFTP database, network uh, computer, mail, firewall, router. Okay, now, it already asked our graphical environment and we selected other, but it still wants us to put in KDE. I'm going to uncheck that. Now, if we choose other graphical desktops, we may have to look into individual package selection to do that. Let's try that out here. So we'll look at other graphical desktops, individual package selection, and see if this gives us an option to uh, install a different desktop. Now, I'm also going to select LXDE as well, just so that I have a graphical user interface once this loads up. Okay, and then under graphical environment, we have options. Let's see what we have for other graphical desktops. Looks like we have some XFCE4 in here as well. It looks like it wants to install the mother load here. So let's um, make some changes to this, or will it not let me make changes? We can just go to previous here, because I really only want one desktop on here. So let's back this up. I really don't want to complicate things. So we'll just have LXDE desktop, uncheck other graphical desktops, we'll uncheck individual package selection because we can go in at a later time and install any packages that we want. And then we'll select next. And now it will install the operating system for us. Okay, let's go ahead and set the administrator password. Maybe choose an icon. Hall of Shame, no black icon. Boo! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, Spatry. Okay, and let's continue. Preparing bootloader. Please wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Okay, now it's going to ask us about the monitor. Hmm. Plug and play. America, New York. I'm just looking at everything, making sure everything looks good. See if it'll let me configure this. Okay, cool. Looks like it already has support for VirtualBox. Gotta love it when a distro has support for VirtualBox. Okay, so now it's giving us these options. We have Xorg configuration where we can disable control alt backspace. But why would you want to do that? Sometimes you might want to just kill the X system and, you know, be brought back into the login screen and then just go back into it. I've had that problem, especially sometimes when a program may crash. It's good to just, it doesn't happen often. 
But, you know, it's nice to be able to just halt the X server, go back, log in, and then back to where you're going without having to reboot. Enable translucency? Why not? I love eye candy. And automatically start the graphical interface, of course. And now it's going to install the bootloader. I'm not going to install these updates right now because I have to issue a password to the network, so I will wait. Congratulations, installation is complete. So now we can reboot the computer. Okay, and based on everything that I selected, here's the operating system I just installed. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, I did LXDE. Looks good from here. A power button on the uh, bottom right corner of the screen. The time, volume control, and network. Two desktops to switch from. I can iconify all windows. The LX terminal. The Magia Control Center. I'm going to pull this up. Okay, we also have Firefox. The PC Man FM File Manager. Very nice indeed. And then our menu. We'll get to that in a moment. Okay, and here is the Control Center. Okay, now this is based on Mandriva. And this is a community project designed to give uh, the community a nice free Linux operating system. So this uses uh, RPM package management, which is quite different from Ubuntu. I like how they laid this out. The control center looks very nice from here. And um, this does look a little familiar, though, because I do believe I looked at uh, Magia uh, about a year ago. So you can install and remove software. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and allow it to load. All right, and it looks like here we've got a nice little package manager. And as I'm seeing that things are loading and it's uh, uh, bringing in the available packages, uh, this gives you some pretty slick options here. You can choose meta packages, which will install a group of applications. Packages with a graphical user interface. Very good for beginners. Okay, it looks like we have another filter. There are other filter options here. Uh, general updates, bug fixes, security updates, all updates. We'll just stick with packages with the GUI just for laughs and giggles. And under all, we can look at what's installed or what's not installed. All right, and then, of course, a number of things in here uh, that you can get in the repositories. All categorized. Pretty neat. Gotta love it to bits when they do stuff like this. But really, um, not that big of a games list in here. But that's okay. I, mean, I imagine by enabling more repositories, you can get more packages. I'm not complaining or anything. I really love how this looks. Okay. You can update your system, configure media sources, configure uh, update frequency. Nice. Um, configure your hardware and uh, 3D desktop effects. And other options here. Configure your network and internet options system, network sharing, local disks, security, and your boot options. You know what? I really like this center here. Uh, I can see why this has a number two slot on DistroWatch. Uh, this looks very nice the way this was put together. Mint's got number one right now, and Ubuntu's got the third slot. Okay, so based on those selections and everything, let's see what uh, this included, because basically we just selected some groups. Okay, so we got uh, Akiga Soft Phone, which I believe is a nice alternative to Skype. Uh, empathy for instant messaging. FileZilla for transferring files across the internet to your web server. Uh, Firefox and Network Center. An office, just a PDF viewer. And uh, JPilot, I'm not sure what this is. It says desktop organization application for the Palm PDA. Okay, you get the GIMP, GThumb, an image viewer. Sound and video, you get grip. What is this? Oh, it's a CD player and ripper. Cool. <laughs> now I can pull out all my CDs and uh, make MP3s out of them and load them onto my Android, hey? All right, you get Pulse, Audio, Volume Control, and Zine. Uh, system tools, the usual stuff you'd come to expect. Boot terminal, screensaver, all this other stuff. Okay. Quick uh, install and remove software. Let's right-click on the desktop. 
Okay, I really like what they did with uh, this uh, LXDE desktop, and I want to make sure that this is exactly it. Did they theme this? Let's click about. Yeah, this is LX panel. Wow, looks like LXDE's come a long way. Uh, this looks a lot sharper because the last time I looked at LXDE, it looked kind of plain. So that's an added plus as well. So um, very nice. What kernels this morning? Just out of curiosity. 3813. So it's running up to date. Very good. Very good. Well, from what you have seen as far as the install process went, that wasn't really that hard to do. Um, let's see what there is in terms of uh, documentation. Maybe by clicking on join, join the Magia community, we can get some information on this because I didn't see anything in here about help. And usually that's something a newcomer would probably want to have. Now, I don't see help for anything in here in the menus, but let's just double check that again. I don't see that, but the thing is you have a link to the website here for support, the documentation, ah, and there's their wiki. So that's where you would want to go to get further information. Maybe you might want to read through some of this before installing this. It gives you uh, information on the release notes, any errors or orata, list of updates, some reviews. Of course, they can add my review. I think this is favorable. So I like what I see here. I've never been one for uh, RPM-based distributions. I don't have anything against them. It's just that, you know, I learned uh, from uh, Ubuntu-based distributions, and I'm used to using apt instead of uh, uh, yum and that sort of thing, having to issue different commands to the terminal, but it's still a good Linux distribution. I like what I see here. And um, if any of you guys are actually using Magia, uh, let me know what you think of it. Put it in the space below. Mm -hmm.